The next Exynos chip will pack AMD graphics tech and ray tracing. What's up guys, welcome to Gadgets Times. So we still haven't heard many rumors regarding next year's Samsung Galaxy S22, but we just learned something official that will absolutely be coming in the new phone. The news came out that Computex 2021 of all places, where AMD CEO Dr. Lisa Su confirmed that the company is bringing its graphics technology, including ray tracing, to the next generation of Samsung Exynos chipsets. AMD has partnered with industry leader Samsung for several years to accelerate graphics innovation in the mobile market. And we're happy to announce that we will bring custom graphics IP to Samsung's next flagship mobile SoC with ray tracing and variable rate shading capabilities. Oh my God, those Exynos chipsets will almost certainly end up in the Samsung Galaxy S22, at least in some version that traditionally have packed the Samsung built Exynos chips and are only sold in some markets. Other regions, including the US, will likely continue to get flagships like the Samsung Galaxy S22 and the Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset. It's entirely possible that Qualcomm's next top-tier Snapdragon mobile chip will also allow ray tracing and variable rate shading capabilities, which AMD has announced, but right now only the Exynos is confirmed to offer these graphical features. This makes the Samsung Galaxy S22 the first phone confirmed to get ray tracing. Imagine how good is your gaming experience is going to be? What are your views on this? Would you guys be excited if Samsung packed in the upcoming S22 series? Let us know in the comment section. A rumor back in May suggested the forthcoming Samsung Exynos 2200 chipset would feature an AMD GPU and while that hinted partnership is now confirmed, we still don't know how much of the AMD RDNA2 and the company's custom graphic IP, as Dr. Sue said on the Computex stage, is coming to the next Exynos Silicon. The prospect of being ray tracing, the graphics rendering technique to produce realistic lighting and reflection effects, which has only been possible with the newest and best graphics card. But it also raises questions about the competition. Will Qualcomm's next Snapdragon chipset be capable of ray tracing effects? Or will the Apple's A15 Bionic Silicon in the iPhone 13 be similarly capable or even more so? There's a lot we don't know and we'll wait for Samsung to announce more details later this year. As AMD's Dr. Sue said, closing the all too brief announcement that one of the most cutting edge graphics tech is coming soon to smartphones. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you really did, then smash the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our gadgets friendly channel, Gadgets Times.